Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and I've got some really exciting news to share with you. A good photographer friend of mine shared a link with me on a major plugin for Photoshop that has to do with AI that's quite a bit of an advancement over what uh, Adobe has in their product right now. It's free right now because it's in beta, so I'm going to share that with you. Are we ready for this? Let's do it! Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, it's dedicated to creativity and expanding your horizons in photography. Always pushing ourselves to think out of the box. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at this uh, plugin. And um, I'm gonna give you the, the link to the website in the show notes here, but I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Right now it is free, it's in beta version. So you could sign up for it and actually install it as a plugin for Photoshop. So we'll take a look at that. And we're going to compare this with um, this product as a plugin to what Photoshop already has in the updated version here in uh, 2023. And we can take a look at the differences in performance. Okay, so the software here, let's, let's go to the website. It is, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Alpaca, <laughs> I'm guessing. And uh, anyhow, this is the main uh, part of the website right here. And if we scroll down a bit, in fact, you can see right here, it says to uh, join for the beta, it will be free. Eventually, you'll probably have to pay for this, obviously, but uh, what it'll cost net, I have no idea. But right now, it's it's pretty awesome. So when you download the plugin, and it gives you the instructions on how to do that, it'll go right into Photoshop. I'll share that with you in a few minutes. But uh, let's take a look at some of the features that are built into this. Number one, they have a category called sketch. If you sketch something out, and maybe scan that and bring it into Photoshop, Right here where the prompt is at, it says, um, in this this particular prompt, treasure chest, wood panel, metal trim, plant growing. You click on view, output, and that's what you get. And you get up to four options. So if we look at that, there's a different one, there's that one, and then there's that one. So four different ones right there. <clears throat> we can also, uh, I'm gonna skip transfer. You could, you could look that up yourself. There's a fill feature there. So in this one, uh, it could be one of your own images. You're expanding the canvas. And then it says 3D futuristic monolith, red, uh, let's see, red LED light in the middle, lost in the jungle, overgrown night. So let it do its job. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And I've been playing with this and it does a far better job than what we have in Photoshop. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, one of my favorite one is uh, just imagine. It's like um, you know the uh, generative stuff that we have in Photoshop, but a little bit more uh, creative and stuff. This one is a soldier futuristic uh, suit armor, uh, crimson and black armor cyberpunk. So select view, and there we go. And uh, there's the first version, the second version, third version, and the fourth version. There's a depth map and upscale feature, so if you have a small image, I haven't tried this one out yet, but uh, you can upscale that without losing uh, any quality. Of course, that's what it says, but again, I haven't had a chance to play with that. So um, again, the website link will be in the show notes, and I'm gonna encourage you to go register for free, uh, get the plugin, it's good for Mac and PC. And so let's take a look at it in Photoshop. All right, before we jump into Photoshop, I'm going to show you some examples I've actually created with this um, AI tool as a plugin, again, for Photoshop. And if you could do me a favor, and that is if you're new to the channel, if you could please like this video and also subscribe and hit that notification bell. Next time I upload a video, you'll get notified. And also, my email address should be on the bottom of the screen right here, and it is stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. Again, stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please drop me a, a line and uh, an email, and uh, we'll add that to my list. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, let me show you what I actually created uh, in this product, and then we're going to do some comparison with uh, what we have already built in with Photoshop. So let's take a look at this. This is an alien. I just uh, plugged in like a detailed alien drinking wine, and this is what I got. 
and uh, pretty detailed. I mean, it, it came out awesome. And then the next one is I did a Halloween theme. Uh, I can't remember the prompt I put in, but uh, did a great job. Uh, also, uh, I put in a lion drinking wine. Well, it's not drinking it, but there's wine around there. You could probably tell I like wine. And uh, the last one is a monster eating pizza, which we'll probably do as a prompt and see what we get in Photoshop. So anyhow, that's uh, the quality. I mean, it's pretty darn good compared to uh, so far what we have in Photoshop. I'm hoping that Photoshop does get a little bit better uh, with this uh, feature. But uh, hey, let's take a look at how we work with this in Photoshop. Okay, everybody, here we are in Photoshop. And if you take a look over here on the side, this is the plugin um, that I put in. And again, that's the beta version. It's free right now. Um, I don't know how much longer it will be free and how much it's going to cost in the future, but it, it definitely is worth taking a look at. So I'm going to go to File, Drop Down Menu in Photoshop and just choose New. And just for experimenting, I was just doing a, a, a 5x750 as a resolution. I don't know what the resolution limit is with this product. I mean, I, I know it could always upscale that, but we're just going to do some basic things. I'm going to choose Create. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do, let me pull this down so it floats around here. I'm going to have Photoshop do this first. And uh, what I'm going to do is grab the Selection tool here on the toolbar and just select the entire... Oops, we don't want to... We want a rectangle. We're going to do a click and drag over the entire... It's a blank document right there. And in generation fill right here, uh, I'm going to put in a, a detailed monster eating pizza. And we'll click on generate and let's see what Photoshop does. And again, this is the latest uh, version of Photoshop. It is not the beta version. And uh, if you're watching this, it's probably going to be the beginning of November. And this is what we get. And... Um, if we take a look at the next image, that's what it looks like. And then this is the next image. So very cartoonish looking uh, in Photoshop. But uh, again, that's what we get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to select the blank background again. And we'll just do this again with the marquee tool to select that entire area. And then I'm going to pull up the plugin. And... I put in the same prompt here. So again, I'm on image. I'm not going to do sketches and stuff like that that we saw on the website. I'm just playing with the image feature. And uh, again, detail monster eating pizza, exactly what I had put in with the Photoshop gener uh, generative fill. And we'll click on generate here at the very bottom and let it do its thing. And we'll see a difference in quality between the two right now. So again, it is still working on this. It is uploading and let's see the results that we get. In fact, I'm gonna click on this. So that's, <laughs> um, okay, so this is, you know, again, the quality of this is a little bit higher than um, what Photoshop does. Let's take a look at the next one. Um, Oh, wow. Check it out. Let's look at the next one. I'm just scrolling through. I think it gives you like a total of four. And you can actually regenerate this again if you don't like any of these selections. That's pretty awesome right there. And then the last one, let's see what this one looks like. Pretty cool. Okay. So you can see the difference. Let me close out of this. And let's just close that down. This one down. These are all uh, done with the plugin. And there's a quality difference with uh, Photoshop. Again, Photoshop's more cartoonish, where this stuff is far more realistic and uh, does a far better job, in my opinion. So um, I don't know what you think about this. I think this is awesome. I'm going to play with this more, and I'm going to try to use it creatively in some of my upcoming projects right here. But again, the link to the uh, website should be in the show notes right there. And again, if you could do me a quick favor, and that is uh, to help the algorithms uh, and have this shared out to other people on YouTube, uh, please like this video. And again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified the next time uh, uh, I uh, put a new video up. I try to do a video about every week for you guys. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, I'm just going to challenge you, and that is 
um, you know, I always end this saying, take that camera out and, and uh, go out and make mistakes because that's how we learn. But this time, let's not take the camera out at all. Let's download this uh, plugin, put it into Photoshop, and then create some really cool stuff. Think creatively out of the box with those prompts. See what you get with this plugin compared to Photoshop. With that out of the way, till next time, see ya.